All right, so I only have 2021 and 2020 here, but you should have all the way back to 2016 at this point, all the tables set up. If that's the case, great, you're ready to move on. If not, pause the video and make sure you get that done. Now, the idea of this project is you have all this information, you wanna say something about it, right? What does it mean? So I'm gonna add a sheet and I'm gonna drag it and make sure it's in the front. And I'm gonna rename it so that I know this is not a federal bracket, but a summary. So let's say, let's call it summary. Not sum A, summary, summary. Now here, what we can do is we can say, all right, we have a year and let's look at our total taxes. And then over here, year and then um, effective tax rate. Now I only have um, 2020 and 2021, but you should have 2016 through 21 for your year. So put all those years down. And in a spreadsheet, if you type equals, you don't have to go look at it. You can go for this is case 2020, click on the 2020 tab, click on total taxes paid, and it's giving you a formula here, equals, it puts quotes, 2020, that indicates a tab, exclamation point, right? So that indicates the tab with the name 2020. Um, and then the cell F16, hit enter. Don't try to scroll around, just hit enter. And that gives you the total taxes in that cell. And it'll change with any income you put in there. And then repeat the process here, equals, and then go to 2021. And under 2021, click the total taxes paid. Over here, do the same thing, equals 2020 effective tax rate equals 2020 effective tax rate. Boom. So now um, uh, you have the ability to map out and look at total taxes and effective tax rate across different years. And you want to answer questions based on essentially different amounts. So let's put our gross income up here. Gross income. And this cell is B2, so that'll be the cell where I enter gross income. So then I would go back through your tabs, this is kind of cool, and for these gross incomes, instead of typing the number here, I'm gonna type equals, and I'm gonna say, well, use whatever number we type back here in B2. So I click on that, and it gives me summary, exclamation point, B2, enter. And before the, the tab, just a side note, it put the tab 2020 in quotes because it was a number and it wanted to indicate that number is not something to calculate, but a word. So now there's no, you can see the word summary here. There's no quotations around it because it's just a word. Now notice this is blank. If I go back to summary and I type in 100,000, let's say, in B2, that'll change the number for 2021. Not 2020 yet, I haven't changed that. But if I go to 2021, see it says 100,000 here, it's getting the number from the front page here, this front tab, I call it a front page, this front tab, the summary. Now I just wanna do the same thing here for 2020. Instead of a random gross income, I'm gonna type equals, summary, and then I'm gonna click on B2 and then hit enter. And it's taking, it's taking me back here, but the idea is now these total tax rates are based on whatever gross income I type in here, I type in 200,000, those will both change. Now the effective tax rates, I don't have to do the same thing because that's based on these calculations. Now I have the ability to quickly type different gross incomes here and see how it would impact my taxes over the year. You can see right here your taxes would have gone down by about, what was that, a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks between these two years, but your effective tax rate is about the same. So someone making 50,000 though, let's see, their taxes have gone down a little bit, their tax rate is about the same. So not that much of a change. So we're gonna kind of mine through different gross incomes to make sure, or to see at least, what's happening to their um, total taxes and effective tax rates over the years. But your job right now is just to set this up and make sure it's working.